So some normal findings after your child's G-tube is placed is something called granulation tissue, which is um, tissue that develops at the wound site as things are healing. And this is not something that's urgent, but something that we would want you to notify your doctor of. It doesn't have any nerve endings, so it shouldn't be very painful to your child. But because there's no layer of skin over the top of that tissue, it can um, bleed due to the rubbing of the tube on the granulation tissue. Um, what we would recommend for this is we would recommend contacting your surgeon and what they will likely do is bring you into clinic where they can treat the granulation tissue with something called silver nitrate which is a chemical that can help reduce and get rid of the granulation tissue. The other finding after a G-tube is placed is oftentimes there can be a little bit of drainage from the G-tube. This is completely normal and the reason that we recommend a barrier dressing so um, barrier dressings that you can use, you can use a split gauze. So you would take a gauze, you would make a cut into the gauze, and then you would open the gauze up and it would slide right around the G-tube. You can also use Mepilex transfer. They do make G-tube rounds that you could buy if you find that that's best for your child. And what that will help do is prevent the G-tube itself from rubbing on your child's skin, but it will also help collect all of that drainage so that it's not sitting on your child's skin.